I'm back in the Black Rock Desert. Let's go check out what's going on. But three, two, one, goodbye, Black Rock City. Oh, uh, today's Monday, and you know, I heard it was black tie was dress code, but uh, apparently that I, they pranked me. I got pranked again. Uh, one more time. So the inspection lines take random and targeted points and draw out a 34 foot circle, it's a tenth of an acre, and collect everything they can find and put it in a bag. That's everything they found in a quarter of an acre at Man Base. Desert to Black Rock City. Today is officially the last day of Black Rock City before it completely vanishes into dust, and that day is the BLM inspection. Uh, Phoenix, you want to tell them a little bit about the inspection? All right, so today is the BLM inspection, as Shalika said, and uh, what we are doing right now is a bunch of DPW members and some BLM uh, workers as well are coming out to meet us and they're going to give us a bunch of points and we're going to go to those points uh, we're going to go out a bit of a, a radius from that point and then we're gonna have like a team I don't know probably 10 or so people walk that radius together with a string and we're gonna pick up everything that we see within that radius and we're going to put it in a one gallon bag and so every time we walk that radius uh, Whatever we collect, if it if it's bigger than the surface area of the palm of your hand, it's essentially a fail for that spot. So, like, if you found a two-way four, that's a fail. Like, like uh, uh, the test is pretty strict. So, um, we're gonna see how well we do, and I have a really good feeling about it. If we pass, uh, we're working on a, a longer agreement with the BLM right now to be out here. I believe we're about to sign something, hopefully, uh, that will let us be out here for the next ten years. And so uh, we've been uh, doing a, a very exact job as usual out here, cleaning up everything off the playa. Uh, but we're really hoping this year that we pass with flying colors uh, so that we can go have this place for another 10 years for everybody. So today's kind of a big day. Today's a big day. So it's gonna be fun today. Um, so if you can see Shane to get your zones kit, you'll get two sets sets of Ziploc bags for round one round two and then you'll get a stake and a mallet and a GPS and then if you can let Kathy know your name and your zone so she can um, <coughs> write it down and when we're all done at the end of the day you bring your GPS back to Kathy and the stakes back to Shane and which one is Shane thank you and uh, have a big party at the end of the day The man. The man. We've spent probably, I'd say probably over 300 man hours. Just on this site? In this site. Because we brought the whole line out here for over an hour a couple of times, and that's like over 125 people. Plus special forces came over it, so oh, wow. we spent hundreds of hours on this site. Here's the spool. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I got your spot.
want to talk to me about what you just did? Yeah, uh, so we just went out into the city and we had different waypoints. And there was uh, different groups, I think, I believe there was 10 different groups for 10 zones of the city. And at each waypoint we drop a piece of rebar and a piece of rope. I don't know for sure how long the rope is. But 34 feet. 34 feet in length. And we walk that 34 feet circumference in a circle and we just pick up all the trash on the ground and then we put it in the bags that are labeled, take pictures of them. We got a GPS to make sure that we're at the right spot. And now I'm going to deliver my findings back to the BLM officers. So what uh, zone were you in? I was in zone 8, uh -huh. which was over on the 2 o'clock side of the city. And we found a good amount of stuff. And, like where we were at, definitely like there's sound camps up there. And it was definitely near Esplanade, so it was a high traffic road. What address? Um, 2 o'clock in Esplanade. Uh, like Ra was, Raverville. Raverville, yeah. <laughs> and then even like down towards 2 o'clock in L, we were within that area. Just, yeah. You want, so, you want to show me one of your bags before yeah, you turn sure. in? The satchel. Yeah, all this sort of. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I know. There's one with a tea stick that I've never seen before in it. I was going to show you. Is there a failed you, Mr. Sir? No, you're good, this one. You, that want, was, you want that spike. That one heavy too. one was in the yeah. back. Or the bottom. So this is what got left behind. Pretty much, yeah. So, well, I mean, it looks like everyone did a pretty good job. Um, the, you, this is what you got. So yeah, here's a sample. Here's an example of what gets left over after oh, Burning Man. Mm -hmm. Did pretty good. We can still do better. Right. What it is, people are actually missing. They always assume somebody left a bunch of trash in their place and that's why they're red on the moot map. And it's like, we're really trying to get them to understand. It's like, no, what you're missing is like these tiny things, you know? And what shows up on the test is stuff that we missed in addition. And it gets them really, you know, but they always go right to sabotage. Yeah. You know, in their brains. They just think like... You know. Well, like you said, it's my myopathy is, you know, get this thing done. We're going to get our camp set up. We're going to do this and then this and then go home and... They're not looking at the bigger picture. Yeah, and you know, and sometimes you know, when they're leaving, it's like they there's there's a certain amount of fallout. Like people are leaving, you know, so they, they're having less people leave. There's there might be drama. They're in dust storms. Next thing you know, there's three people, you know, for a 300 person camp. That's what I was surprised about too. Like this is like the first year too that we had a lot of interaction with the BLM officers, and like they all just came and gave hands and super thankful for their help. So yeah, I've worked with them before, and it's yeah. like uh, I I don't know what the narrative in the media is usually BLM against Burning Man, but working out here with them and apply oh, restoration. Yeah. Some, uh, talking with all. these guys is like it's cool just to have a conversation with them. We're all we're all out here working together yeah. to uh, towards people. the same goals. Yeah. So. Um. Don't eat. Team 11 didn't show up, huh? No. Slackers. <laughs> yeah. Are they just that good? No. I don't think we have one. And then Brayden just, he's one of us. He just has the Garmin checked out. I don't know why we have a V. It like bugs me so bad, like how they numbered it. Nine. One, ten, two, yeah, it's a traditional it's, numbering system. One, it's bugging me one, a v. one, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, V. Yeah. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> and so when she had me this morning at like 5 a.m., I was like, mm. she's like, you'll figure it out. I was like, okay, I'll try. <laughs> it's not her fault. It's just killing me. It's a big day, but I'm not worried because I know we're going to pass. <laughs> All right, boxes is the last person over there. But three, two, one, goodbye, Black Rock City. <laughs> Thank all of you. I love you guys so much.